गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज अज ऑफ लेक्चर फॉर एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री थर्मल मेथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस सेमेस्टर फाइव टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पैटर्न नो हेयर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न सम बेसिक अबाउट द थर्मोग्रामेट्री नो हेयर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इन्वॉल्व इन थर्मोग्रामेट्री सो वट आर द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन आर इन्वॉल्व इन थर्मोग्रामेट्री वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नाउ दो आर दार्ट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ऑफ थर्मोग्रामेट्री बैलेंस फर्नेस थर्मोकपल रेगुलेटर दिस आर द फोर इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर बैलेंस फर्नेस थर्मोकपल एंड रेगुलेटर अगेन सम क्रूसिबल कैन सैम्पल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड पार्टिकल्स कैन से क्रूसिबल साइज एल्सो प्लेज एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सो देर आर सिक्स पार्ट बैलेंस फर्नेस थर्मोकपल टेम्परेचर रेगुलेटर पार्टिकल जोमेट्री एंड सैम्पल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दिज आर द सिक्स पार्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द व्यू ऑफ instrumentation in thermogrammetry now the first is balance now an electrical single pan analytical balance of 100 g capacity with an accuracy of plus minus 0.1 mg is to be mounted on vibration free horizontal platform now here an electrical single balance An electrical single pan analytical balance of 100 gram capacity. So uh, the capacity of uh, balance is 100 gram, and accuracy should be plus minus 0.1 milligram. So it should be uh, we can say within the limit of plus minus one, zero plus minus 0.1 milligram is and which is to be mounted on a vibration free horizontal platform. So it should be uh, we can say mounted on a vibration horizontal platform. So that it should not be obscured any type of vibration. So here, so the first is balance. That is, an uh, electrical 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 balance of hundred gram capacity is to be mounted on a free vibration free horizontal platform. Now the second uh, instrumentation part is furnace. This so can be constructed by using an indigenous material, keeping its cost low. So furnace can be constructed constructed in such a way that the cost of the furnace should be kept low. The microwave wire resistance furnace using a quartz tube with an internal diameter 3.2 cm and length of 25 meter can be constructed with a good thermal insulation of approximately 3 meter above winding. So. That above the winding, the in, uh, distance is three meter. The furnace has a distance is three meter above the winding. And here, the nichrome wire resistance furnace. So, nichrome wire resistance furnace using a quartz tube with an internal diameter. So, furnace has an internal di diameter three point two centimeter. The diameter should be three point two centimeter, and the length of furnace is twenty five meter. Can be constructed with a good thermal insulation, approximately above the winding. This assembly can be set into cement pipe of approximately 25 mm centimeter height. So cement pipe has a again uh, we can say uh, parameters of distances that uh, it should be cement pipe should be 25 centimeter in height and 7 centimeter in internal diameter. So that should be important. This assembly can be set into cement pipe of, of approximately 25 centimeter height and 7 centimeter in internal diameter. The inner space between the furnace and this cement pipe is to be filled with a slurry plaster of Paris silica and asbestos material. Asbestos material. So the, you can say the inner space of the furnace that can be uh, uh, that can be filled with uh, and the in, the inner space between the furnace and this cement pipe. So the cement pipe and uh, furnace is connected with the material of plaster of Paris, silica, and asbestos wool. So this is very important part. Furnace is a very important for part of the thermogrammetry. Again, I will repeat the same. Furnace can be constructed by using a material in such a way that its cost should be kept low. The nichrome wire resistance furnace using a quartz tube with an internal diameter 3.2 centimeter and length 25 meter. Can be constructed with a good thermal insulation of approximately three meter above the winding. So the furnace has a distance three meter above the winding, and the furnace has a characteristics of length that are internal diameter that is three point two centimeter, and the length should be twenty five meter. 
Now this assembly can be set into a cement pipe of approximately 25 meter centimeter in height and 7 centimeter in internal diameter. So cement pipe has an internal diameter that is a uh, you can say uh, 7 centimeter and the height should be on uh, the height of the cement pipe is 25 centimeter. Now here the inner space between the furnace and the cement pipe is to be filled with a slurry of plaster of Paris, silicon as best all. So furnace and cement pipe is connected with this material. Now the next one is thermocouple. The thermocouple used depends on the temperature range. Now the thermocouple, which type of thermocouple that can be employed in thermogrammetry that depends on the temperature range. Now the temperature range of, uh, generally the temperature range of thermogrammetry is lies from 0 degree centigrade to 1200 degree centigrade. So thermocouple used depends on the temperature range. Thus for the temperature range uh, from room temperature to 1200 degree centigrade, the proper thermocouple is chromal alumal. So chromal alumal uh, having 24 gauze wire uh, is generally employed as a thermocouple which is kept in the vicinity of sample and the terminals were connected to the direct measuring pyrometer range from uh, 0 degree to 1200 degree centigrade. So we can say with the help of uh, we can say ammeter or okay, so with the help of dimmer uh, uh, we can uh, fluctuate the temperature uh, calculation or temperature uh, uh, readings. The proper thermocouple is chromal alumal uh, for the thermogrammetry and it, it should be kept in the vicinity of sample and uh, and the terminals of the thermocouple were connected to a direct temperature measuring pyrometer. Now the next is temperature range. Now generally the temperature range uh, obviously for the temperature range uh, temperature regulator we can say not a temperature range it is a temperature regulator. The terminals of the furnace were connected to a temperature regulator of 15 ampere capacity. Now the capacity of temperature regulator, regular, regulator is 15 ampere capacity. Now the next part is a very important crucible geometry. Now the uh, crucible geometry plays a impo very important role in deciding the characteristics of the thermogrammetry. The geometry of the crucible can alter the slope of the thermogrammetric curve. So the geometry depends on the, the thermogrammetric curve depends upon the geometry of the crucible. Flat shaped crucible is generally preferred to a high temperature cone shape. So, this uh, we can say what which type of uh, curve is obtained uh, yeah, that decides on the geometry of the particle or geometry of the crucible. Now, the next one is sample character characteristics. Now, the sample characteristics are very important. Sample characteristics are nothing but the weight of the sample, particle size of the sample, mode of the operation of the sample, preparation of the sample. So, these are the different characteristics of the sample characteristic uh, involved in the sample. Sample characteristics, the weight, the particle size, and the mode of preparation of sample, all the govern, all govern the thermogrammetric results. For first exothermic reaction, a large sample can create the deviation from linearity in the temperature size. size. So, large sample that can be uh, that cannot be used for the uh, for the uh, analysis of thermogrammetry because it creates a problem and if it is a fast exothermic reaction it obviously creates a problem of linearity. Now this is a block diagram of the thermogrammetry. Here atmosphere control is there. Here sample holder, this is a sample holder and this uh, again above the sample holder there is a furnace. Again below the sample holder there is a recorder. And again, below the recorder, there is a recording balance. And this recorder and uh, recording balance is connected to the balance control. Uh, control. Now here, this is a furnace. These uh, lines are uh, nothing but the furnace. Furnace temperature uh, programmer. This uh, here, furnace temperature programmer is kept. And below this, uh, we can say the black uh, black space or can say the uh, black space of this block diagram indicates the temperature sensor. Now this is the application or you can say this is the you can say uh, block diagram or you can say uh, the typical graph of calcium oxalate obtained from the research gate. Now here uh, on the y axis there is a weight in milligram on the x axis there is the temperature. Now this temperature ranges from 0 to 1000 degree centigrade and uh, here there is a uh, depending on the mass there is a uh, you can say it decides the y axis now here 
it should be remembered that uh, the graph is started here the graph is started here and uh, you can say the first part of uh, calcium oxalate first part is there is a removal of water takes place second part there is a removal of carbon monoxide takes place and third part is there is a you can say removal of carbon monoxide takes place now here there is a high temperature uh, you can say there is a high temperature is required to you can say uh, to uh, uh, disintegrate the carbon monoxide from the calcium oxalate there is a low temperature or middle temperature required for the carbon monoxide to uh, terminate from the calcium oxalate again there is a, again there is a lowest temperature uh, you can say this is a slope uh, lowest temperature uh, is required for the water for, for uh, on uh, to cut out from the calcium oxalate so these are the you can say mo most important part of the instrumentation and the graph of calcium oxalate uh, this is all about this uh, can say instrumentation involved in thermogrammetry with this content i conclude this lecture thank you very much for your patience listening